guys, it is me, Lifesimmer, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 4, I believe Part 3. In this part, we uh, will explore um, that little place we found when Lee got trapped underground. He, like, kicked a sign and he found a little secret passageway. So, we're gonna go ahead and continue and see what exactly that was. Um, what the hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Alrighty, um, so let's see what we got. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. And, you know, speaking of food, we were having, like, a lot of trouble, um, earlier in the game with food, so that's, that's a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and go through here. Who are you? Um. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Sorry I had to cough. Wah. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. What a nice guy. Bree is annoying to me. 
I like him. I like old people. I like him too. He reminds me of like, I don't know, just, just adorable. They're all so cute. I love old people. I love them. Um, all right. Thank you, Vernon. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Please? I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. We do, where's Clem? Clementine. Clementine? Where is she? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Hmm. Clem's oh. drawings. But where is she? I love Clem. Where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? I have no idea. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay, I'm gonna real sick of your attitude. Um... <laughs> All I want right now is to know where Clem is. I totally don't remember, by the way. So, I have no idea where she is. And dealing with Molly's little attitude definitely isn't helping. Clem? Clementine? Did we check over there? I don't think we did. Oh, yeah, we did. He slammed that door. Right on my Clementine, where are you? Really, Clem, where are you? You're making me worried. Okay, let's go downstairs. Over there is at uh, Omid. So we don't really need Clementine! To... Come out! Please! Go over there. Kenny? Oh hey, you made it back. Good job. 
Good job. Kenny's what the drunk. hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Ben. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. <sighs> Whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. Oh. On her own. With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. I... I don't even know what to say. Clementine? Clementine! Honestly, I, I can't deal with people who can't take care of fucking Clementine. Sorry, excuse my language, but really, I give them, like, one job, and it seems like every time I give them a job, they just, they, they mess it up. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. We found a boat. How exciting. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Thank hey, you. if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? The bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? 
That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Oh. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people, and Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good, if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? <laughs> Can't I come with you? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clem. I just don't want you to be exposed to everything. Clem, stop! I just don't want her to be exposed to all of that stuff, you know? What's about to happen, I wouldn't want Clem to be there. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. <laughs> nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? 
So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. I don't like her before, but the more yeah, the better. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Clem. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus you have a job to do. An important job. <laughs> I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. But what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here, I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Uh. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Can't agree more. Let's get it over with. I feel bad for leaving Clem, though. I just, I, I don't want her being there, you know? Like, she's my this own. Right. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we will take down Crawford and get hopefully get all the supplies we need and um get out of there without any deaths we'll have to wait and see and i hope you guys enjoyed this part i think i already said that anyways i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye guys